Welcome to the Daybird Friday. My name is Michael Schimke. I'm the CEO of Scafree. We run this session here every Friday to allow you, the audience, to ask questions about data vault, cloud computing, any data-driven questions allowed, essentially. Um, if you have a question, I'm happy to pick up or to, to take um, live questions, right? So use the chat here, use the Q&A here uh, in the client. Just raise your hand if you want a voice. I'm happy to give you a voice uh, to so you can essentially ask a live question. Um, other than that, we also receive questions via a form which I'll show you after today's session, how you can submit your question in advance. And um, if you receive multiple questions, I would cherry pick, uh, typically I pick one question from, from, the, um, from the pool of open questions. And it's uh, typically time box roughly 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, if there would be no questions at all, we, talk about the, we would talk about the cluster. We did once over twice already uh, in, over the summer break when there was not, not many questions because everybody was on vacation or something. All right. Um, we received a question here. Let me just share my screen. Um, all right, so this is about um, pit table structures. And this, this comes actually from a um, consultant in the field in one of our projects. And um, the, so the question is, can we modify the pit table structure and add business keys and other descriptive attributes into the pit table structure? And we do this to some extent um, in the in the bootcamp training, when we show the the pit tables, there's always some business keys in there, or so, yeah, typically some business keys. And um, the thing is, this the the base design at scale free um, is typically just of a pit table, right? It's typically just the um, the alternate key, which is the hash key of the parent, typically the the hash business key or of the relationship, right? And the snapshot date. That's your alternate key. We also add, in many cases, some type code. Um, for example, we have different PIT tables as partitions in one um, entity, essentially. Um, that's the alternate key. And then um, we have a primary key, which is either a hash key or a sequence. Um, in some cases, we also actually have both of them. Uh, so we have a second alternate key, which is the sequence, and the primary key will be the, the hash key. The hash key is calculated from, well, it's a hash value, let's call it. The hash value is calculated from the business key from the parent or the business keys of the relationship in the parent and the snapshot date. That gives us a type two hash value, which we can then use as a dimension key in our type two dimensions. That's a typical primary key and a, sec a sequence as a secondary um, um, alternate key, a secondary dimensional key, if the user wants to have sequences in the information mark. Not my preference. It's, in my opinion, it's too complicated, but some users want them. Um, so that's the, the keys. And then we have for every satellite attached to the parent and which is relevant for reporting, we have two columns typically because a standard satellite is identified by two columns, the hash key of the delta and the load data and stamp. That's the idea. So for every satellite attached, we have two columns in the pit table. And then in the training, we also add or DVA adds business keys. And you can do that. Um, in many cases, it's not worth it, in my opinion, especially when, you, let's say, you have a customer uh, a hub and you have a, uh, um, uh, an alter key with the hash key of the customer business key. The value of adding the business key, the customer number, is relatively low. Um, because, I mean, the, 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 to retrieve the, the business key, it's, you can resolve it quickly by an inner join into the hub. Equi join condition, you're done. Super cheap join to get the business key for presentation purposes. Now, different is, it's different when your goal is to partition the table by something or to, to tune the, um, the pit table somehow, improve joint performance or whatever, then it might be feasible. Um, but typically not the business key from the parent, but some business key from somewhere else. Uh, let's say um, the ISO code of the customer address. So um, it's the ISO code is somewhere in your descriptive data in your satellite and you pre-join that, denormalize that into the pit table. So then you can partition by the country of the customers. That's a better partition code, uh, partition uh, key, essentially. Um, that's what we do. Um, you could also um, add any, I mean, this, you can add business keys if you want in the pit table. If it, if it helps you to um, allow partitioning or improve performance or improve the joint performance, right? And descriptive attributes. It's, it's all good. So you can do that and we do it. Uh, but the prime reasons is um, a partition, a partitioning and performance tuning. That's the prime reason. Um, I wouldn't overstretch it though. So let's say you have calculated fields 
Well, first of all, if you want to filter by these calculated fields, it might be feasible and, and desired to materialize them somewhere. Um, if it's just that, I would consider using a compute satellite attached on a pit table somehow. Well, not attached on a pit table, but based on the pit table. That's better wording. The thing is, in the information delivery class, we talk about um, having, having compute satellites not with a load date and hash key in the primary key, but with a snapshot date and the, and the hash key in the primary key of the compute satellite. That works because in the business world, there's somewhere a grain shift. Where Well, not a grain shift, it's also wrong. Uh, the, the granularity changes, that's better. So there's a, there's, there's a change in granularities. Um, and some satellites in your business world will be based on the outgoing information, not the incoming deltas from the role world. And um, that's interesting. If you have, let's say you, you want to calculate some value, lifetime value of a customer every day, that granularity is not based on the incoming deltas of your customers. It's based on the alternate key of the pit table. All the customers every day. I want to calculate a lifetime value for every customer every day. And that's a, that's a typical example for an uh, uh, information-driven um, uh, uh, business logic. And in this case, you can create a, a, even a view or some, some, let's say, compute satellite where the primary key is based on the alternate key of the pit table. And that's where I would materialize um, the, the business logic. Why? Easier to extend. So um, if, if I want to modify or extend add additional um, uh, results from business logic, I just add additional compute satellites to this table. The satellite is not attached to the pit table. The satellite is still attached to the parent of the pit table, to the customer, right? And um, um, that's why I would capture um, uh, calculated values, materialize them for performance tuning, indexing, and so on, and filtering especially. Um, yeah, that's what I would do essentially. Uh, just, just keep that in mind. So that's also an option to, in, instead of adding those attributes to the, um, to the pit table. Pit table, I add the, the, the values. If I really want to partition the pit table, that's my prime reason to partition the pit table. Uh, that's when I add these columns to the pit table because the partition key must be in the table, right? Um, other than that, I prefer the compute satellite um, based on the alternate key of the pit table. That's a trick. Um, all right. So, but yeah, that's that's the option, essentially. And it's all good. So, um, yeah, turn off. Forgot to turn off the light. All right. Um, there's a shiny light now. We got the idea. All right. Cool. Good question. If you have a question like this, um, head to uh, HTTPS SFR.ee slash DB Friday. That's a form where you can submit your questions, where you can submit um, um, uh, drawings if you want, some upload some uh, PNGs or whatever or team pictures, whiteboard pictures, quick drawings, all good. Um, also check out HTTPS scale slash webinars, where we um, essentially offer additional webinars in addition to this one um, on DBT and WASC at the moment from our consultants, um, from our experts in the, in the field. I'm not a real tool specialist. We have tool specialists at WASC at, at scale and they, um, they essentially um, present some ideas, present some um, techniques, tips and tricks based on tools essentially. Cool. I hope you enjoyed today. Um, thanks for joining. Wish you a nice weekend and hopefully see you next Friday, same time, 11 o'clock, Central European Sunday time. And um, yeah, try out this trick. Really works nicely. Thank you guys. See you next Friday. Bye bye. Thanks for joining today. If you'd like to discuss this further, give us a call on the number below here and we're happy to discuss this with you. See you next time. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye.